Good morning, folks. So it's, here's another episode of Tanuki's Play Place unboxing. As you can see from the box, is this is an unboxing of the All In Pledge for um Anka Ank Ank God of Egypt. I am Tanuki Paint Tanuki with my cameraman um, Snack Tanuki. Snack, Snack Tanuki. So basically, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown or a background on this game. This game is basically the last of the trilogy from Eric Lang. He created Blood Rage, Rising Sun, and now this is on. All three games are all um, space controlled games, but each one has its own new mechanics, bought and also borrowed from the other one. Like, uh, and they're all based on mythology. Uh, Blood Rage is more like the end of the world, uh, Viking mythology of living and drinking in Valhalla while trying to be the only Viking, um, the glorious death of dying in Idrisil. Uh, Rising Sun is uh, Japanese mythology of the civil war in Japan in the er early 1600s, I believe, when all the sh um, provinces are fighting against each other. Like Oda Nobunaga, um, Yo uh, um, Hideyoshi, and all those guys, but with a little twist where you, you could get uh, favors from the gods and collect monsters. In my case, yes, because I like playing with all the monsters, and I like playing as purple guy. With Onk, Onk is different because now you are playing as the god. So now you're it's simple um, from my. From my record, or I read, the gameplay is more simplified, you know, sim um, simplified. Not a lot of big things going on, but the powers of each god is more impactful. So, without further ado, let's deal with the big box first. Before this small box, this small box here is the two-sided playmat apparently. So, let's put this down and let's open this one up. Let's, yeah, open this one up. Always cut away, people. Remember that. Do as, I, do as I say, not as I do? Yes. Oh, hello. So, oh dear lord. Let's put this aside. It's 25 pounds of stuff. Of goodness. Of goodness. And they just. Oh my god, so. Foam. White foam, white foam. Okay, here's the base game. Ugh. Here's the base game. Oh. I'm gonna look, this box up. look at that art. Putting this to the ground. Sorry, Jimbe, if you're in the way. But yeah, here is the game. Uh, I tried to get some light here, but I know it's a little bit dark, but hopefully it'll be. Better. But here's the game. This is the main game. So, ancient and again, it's a uh, mythological, but this time it's Egypt. So you're playing with either Osiris, Ra, um, Anubis. Anubis. I heard from the powerful of Anubis when I, when one of the other players die in combat while Anubis is out, he gets to take their soul. That's what he does. That's his job. And for that person to gain back that um, that soldier, he has to pay a toll. Well, when you're the god of the underworld, there's always a price. So you see, focus on this. This is the game. Wait, all right, fine. Right there. Uh, okay. Adrian Smith is by art. So his beautiful art is all over the box. And again, just like any Simon games, the texture of the, bo the, the box is really nice. If you guys need want to see the rule book, go ahead and get that off. That's actually just for the rule book. If you guys want to read it, here is the rule book. Make sure it's in English. It's in English. Some people have gone. It is in English. Some people have gone to French edition. As you guys can see, this is actually in English. So great game. Looks like multiple pieces, stuff like that. So 
Uh, oh, that we actually have scenarios. Unlike the other games, this is not. This one actually has scenarios. So this is the scenarios for the, for the game. How to set them up? Multiple games. So. Um, Token. A lot of tokens and the board is in here too. Oh, we'll open that later. So I'm not gonna open that actually. You want to open that? Let's open this up. It looks like to be the only two, two boards of uh, tokens. Token pieces. Did I even cut it? Seriously? Did you? Yeah, there. It is. Oh, not all of them are cardboard. Chips. So, devotion track. It's not focusing on it. So that's the devotion track. Um, another action board. Tokens. One, two, boards of tokens. Punch board, my favorite. And a tri trifold board game. Uh, tri that's trifold? I thought it was like. Oh. It's trifold because it folds three times. Oh. Hence the word trifold. Look at all those hexes. Very uh, sorry for the little glare, glare or the. Bad lighting. Or because it's not focusing. So one and two. There goes my finger. And then bottom of the box, the dudes. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was not a good thing to do. I'm stuck. Whoa. Something just dropped. Fell. Oh, because that's not the bottom of the box. So, like I said before in my other videos. One of the cool things that they actually started doing is actual Where to put trays. all your stuff. So these are the trays for the game. I guess you could put um your your chits in here, your, your tokens. Tokens. Here is more um Those are the gods. Th these are each god, each one of them. If you could read um that one's this is their play board in the back it gives them a little story. Uh so yeah, looks like their powers are down here. Uh, if that would focus, I won't. They won't focus much. So yeah. Again, it's in plastic, so that's going to have the glare. Um, emerge of um. Oh, merge with um. Oh, because you can merge gods. So you can merge game. gods. Yeah. Um, looks to be like uh, cards right. for the gods. And cat mummy. Aww. So these are summon characters, I believe. I think they support your, your um, god. Yeah. I can't get to focus. Can't me. Yeah. So that's going to go back in the box. Because now we get to see what's in this box. The dudes. So, as of right now, from what I've heard, a lot of people has gotten their Kickstarter um, version with a lot of broken pieces. I am hoping that mine does not have the same fate. Oh, look! How to put, How to put your stuff back together. So, uh, looks to be like rivers, little like rivers terrain or pieces. terrain pieces. It's hard to tell in the bag. Yeah. Well, actually, let's see. Oh, this is a European American edition. <laughs> so those are camels. And we thought there were camels. And we thought they were terrain pieces. They were um, camels. <laughs> they were camels. And here are your uh, rings. Rings, large bases. Two per god. 
different colors as well as uh, uh, 10 small ring bases per god. Um, looks to be these are standees and a pearl. Yeah, these as a plastic tracker event right there. The blue thing? The blue crystal and then these are action markers. And then these are plastic onk tokens. Uh, yeah, these are plastic onk tokens. One per god. And different colors. Different colors. There's like five gods. I think so. Five There's five in the starter. Um, and then these are your soldiers. Warriors. Your warriors. And oh, each of the gods are actually color coded. This is Amun. If he's red. It, he's red. Anybody know which god is he? This is Isis. She's enormous, that figure. That's a she? Yeah, that's hmm. a woman. He has a beard. Um, Anubis. Yeah, that's Anubis. <laughs> yeah, that's the my jackal. baby. The jackal. Here's mine. Ra, the sun god. He's orange. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, Osiris. Look at this. Out of all of them, I kind of like Osiris more because he has like people like kneeling at the at his base right there. Well, he was very popular. Don't forget to put Amun back. Amun Ra. Last one they combined. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple of other things: two giant scorpions. Ooh, scorpions. Um. Two giant scorpions right here. Yeah! If you guys, I think this is the same. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're missing something. No, something snapped off. Uh oh. So we're missing a, a, claw. Arm, a claw. On the scorpion. On the scorpion. And it's not here at all. I can't find it. So it's not here. Um, yeah, we're going to take a picture of that and send it to Simon. A lot of people has not gotten back anything from Simon, but. Yeah, so, uh, remember that. Um, or if we don't have to, we'll make it, we can make it battle damage. Cat mummies. Ooh, cat mummies. Yeah. Cute. Well, actually, while I'm doing this, here we go, I mean, you know what to do. Yep. Um, there are a couple of mummies. There's three mummies, regular, regular mummies. Yeah, it's totally snapped off. Um, we have set. And we have two Sphinx. It's a Sphinx. Found it lot. Never mind. Okay, actually, no, we don't. We Super found... glue that. <laughs> later. That's a later <laughs> thing. Um, or we can just leave it off and be like battle damage. This is, uh, what is this? These are. And. That's... Andro Sphinx? Andro Sphinx. Hey Frank, guess what you get to play with? And Eileen's favorite gators. Lizards! Uh, this is epic. It's a lizard. It's epic. So. Well, at least you don't have to ask Simon to send me a new figure. I just have to glue his, use the glue on the You just have to glue on. it, right? You want to yeah. just leave him out so we can yeah. reglue him? So. A little Scorpy. Scorpions. These guys. Circle bases. I don't, no, the, here's a question. There's an actual another. Here, let me show you guys. Without all of them falling out, there's a little tray at the bottom. No, no, no. no. There's a little hole here. What's that for? Good question. What do you mean? It could hole? be for the, all the tokens or whatnot, maybe. Mm. But as of right now, I don't know. There's these goes in here. These goes in here. These goes in here. We don't know where this goes. And then let's put everything back. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say what, what, what's in there. And that's just base game. That's base game, so... Right, put okay. away base game really quick. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Without hurting any of the warriors. Yeah. 
They should really learn how to make this an open top. Yeah. They did it for, I think, Zombicide Dark Flag? Black Flag, yeah, they did it as an open top. Open top, so it's a lift top? Yeah. Oh, they keep, it's much more easier. They keep changing their, their packaging with each game. There's no consistency. I don't want cat means. Why is the cat very, very symbolic? Because there was a goddess named after her. It's not in the ones that we have, so. Okay, now to put everything back in. That's the board. Two punch Token. outs. Action sheets. Devotion sheets. Scenario. And oh, you forgot the camels. Oh, that's what those were. <laughs> they were the camels. Camels. <laughs> That's what goes there. Okay. I was like, what's that bag? We're thinking they're terrain. It's really hard to pull these out. As you guys can see how I was, how I was literally like literally breaking this. So I'm not gonna put that in there. I'm just put it right here. Well, it fit. Actual... Oh, it, shit. it won't fit. It won't fit. Oh. Actually, yeah, it will. You sure? Yeah, it'll fit. They're just camels. work on this because there's no lift top it's literally you have to lift you literally have to break the sides of the board of the box just to open it just to grab the thing and here's what I'm talking about. look at that there's no space to grab it anywhere something to think about Simon your uh, box design hint hint nudge nudge for your next project mm -hmm. stone production massive uh, darkness hey it won't look like that do we really need that piece of paper yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's basically second part of the thing I'm gonna grab here. If I can get inside. Too many stuffies. Trust me guys, I tried to get rid of them, but she doesn't want to get rid of any of them. This is the Pantheon. This is an expansion that Adds, uh, uh, this expansion introduced a whole new set of five Egyptian gods. So five more gods to play with. Um, and new warriors, uh, box content, 35 plus figures. Five gods, 30 warriors, so six more warrior, 20 more bases, five plastic tokens, 75 onk tokens, three basset cat tokens. What the fuck is that basset? Basset. Yeah, basset. That's what I said. Two eyes of Orhus. Horus token, 5 guard dashboards, 5 merge guards, dashboards, 35 battle cards, and 1 rule. Rules leaflet. More dudes to play with. In other words, yeah, more, more, more gods. Which gods do we have now? We don't know yet. We're about to find out. Well, it's in the campaign notes, campaign notes, but we're gonna open We're just it. gonna play with this one. So, there we go. Tokens. Yeah, punch board, my favorite. Leaflet. Gods. I actually have to open this to just see what they are. I'm gonna uh, open it. The leaflets. Hmm. Um. Uh, the merge cards. Ooh, set the god of chaos. Oh, I might want to play uh, too. This one here. I might need the knife. I can't the open knife. the knife unless it's you want okay. to open. Set the betrayer. We have set the betrayer. Uh, ba a basset cat of Bubbis. Bubbis. It's called Bubbis. So just by looking at these pictures, I'm gonna see if I can see which one's which. I need the knife because this thing is tape. You have the knife. Oh, I opened it. So. Oh dear Lord, I hate this thing. Yeah. 
you really don't need to tape all four corners. Maybe or two. all four sides. Maybe two sides, but not all four. So anyways. Oh. Ooh, more horse. figurines. Sorry, it's off. It's offset because the camera's offset. More figurines. So purple is Bassette. Bassette. Cat of... The lioness god. It's a cat goddess. Yeah, she looks like a cat. Meow. It's a purple cat. Mm -hmm. Next in our set here is... A lizard. Oh. It's an alligator. No, this is not an alligator. Oh, that one might be... That might be Horus. Does it have a bird head? Yes, it's That's Horus. Horus. That's a bird head. Horus. The eye of, the eye of Horus. Looks like a chicken. Fuck, fuck. Uh, this one. Kate Weaver. <laughs> this is a cow. Oh, that's, that's a Hathor. Hathor or Thor? Hathor. Oh, Hathor. Hathor. It's a cow. Moo. Moo. Bovine. There is, there is a cow level, trust me. There's a cow level. There's a cow level. And then we have a monkey. That is Thoth. Thoth the monkey. Thought, uh, wisdom of Ma'at. We're not going to try to pronounce half these words because we're I was better with in the, uh, in the... Japanese? Yeah. Yeah. And last like, but not least, the snake lady herself. It's a lizard, actually. Whatever. Is it a lizard or a snake? It's supposed to be set. Um, it's a betray... It's the chaos. That's a snake on, just wrapping around her. That's a snake. I thought it was a <laughs> lizard. Okay. Well, you can have these back. So we got a cat, a cow, a snake, a monkey, and a, and a bird, chicken. and a chicken, yeah. <laughs> it's a chicken. It's a chicken. Don't say anything different, it's a chicken. So. Fate Weaver much? <laughs> oh no, that's a peacock. That's a peacock. That's, a peacock. that's not a chicken, that's a peacock. Oh shit. And there's the other part, is once you open it, it's hard to put away. First world board game problems. Yeah. Now who do I want to play? I can play with a cow. <laughs> you just want to do that because you want to keep saying bovine. Or I can play the snake. Or the chicken. I'm either death or sun. Oh god, there's a lot more in here that I did not know there's a lot in here. Um, yeah, this is for snack with the tea. Yeah! <laughs> My art. Oh. Here, that's the roster. That goes in the garbage. That's bubble wrap. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it looks to be like some sort of updated version of a... It's, I got rid of the, the thing. Oh, well. So this looks to be a board. Oh, this art is fantastic. So sorry, I don't know what that is. Um, That's a cow in front. It's Hathor in the front. Guardian set. So this one, this expansion includes a new set of guardians ready to join the gods in their quest. So I guess um, support characters. Support characters, kind of like the how the there was um, the cat mummies. Yeah. Those are the guardians. This is also a guardian. Guardian set. So this box contains eleven plastic miniatures, five guardian cards, and one rose leaf bed. Okay. And dudes. And dudes. And it looks like instead of two of each, one of them is three. Uh huh. So Here's the rules of leaflet. We have an alligator. Whatever that. So. More tape. Surpri more tape. Surprise though. It's only on two sides. Versus four sides. Yep. Now it's stuck in my finger. Oh, and also, like I said before, with the new Simon games, every expansion that they have, 
Oh no. Oh, all four. All four? Oh no, three. Three? Oh, four. Four. Draw. Ease expansion that they have, the box, um, the is, little tray that they have, is now if numbered. If you guys can have C, the, there's actually numbers right here. So there's a number on yeah, my okay. finger here. It's kind of hard to tell because it's really. It's really dark. Yeah. And nobody can, this person who's filming does not know how to focus towards my finger. Right there. There's a 50 right there. So the cat is this one. Uh, Madefet? Uh, Mafet or something like that? Is that a cat? It's a tiger looking thing. Oh, that's not Madefet. This is Madefet. They're smaller, sorry. That's this one. Uh, alligator, which is a myth. Looks like a dog with an alligator face. It's got like a butt. <laughs> oh, they gave it a butt. Thanks, Studio McVeigh. <laughs> um, and then the other three is so this thing is called uh, Amhe. Some sort of wolf. It looks like a wolf. Oh, this thing is uh, Shimizu. It, Shizumi. What is that? That's a lion. On feet. With a big giant sword. And then uh, Pazuzu. Butterfly wing style, but they're like feathered wings. Is it a chicken? No. no. It's like a bird. No. So as you can see, there's like only one way to put those guys in there. Yup. So that's the guardian set. Still actually trying to figure out what this one is. Uh, Pharaoh's extra sphinx. Extra sphinxes. So these are, I think, yeah, they're sphinx. So, I believe they're supposed to be like turn markers or they're the markers that does all the combat things. So, kind of like the flags in um, Rising Sun. Rising Sun. Is there still a lot in the box? Oh yeah, there's at least three more boxes. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Divine Offering! <laughs> this has 12 cardboard god dashboard? More dashboards? 12 card. Oh no, no, no! So, sorry. The one that's in the base game, they're, they're thin, kind of like uh, card stock. These are actually the heavy stuff. The nice stuff. The nice stuff. So, let's take a look. So and also instead of popping all those um, cardboard, cardboard tokens, this comes with plastic. These are basically all the tokens you need. The divine offering. So here they are. Here are the tokens. Yeah, color coded. Color coded. As you can see, they're plastic. For the extra um, pharaohs, just extra in gods. case. They thought of it in time, and that's a nice little box here. Oh, so sorry. we know that that's the top. Here are the mer. Look at that. That's merge. As and you can see, the ones that we brought out, the merge cards are actually thinner. Paper. This These is are actually cardboard. So we have Amun, Anubis, all that stuff. Oh, so. Sorry. <laughs> easiest way to take yeah, it out. Easiest way to take it out. And it's and upside it's okay down. down. Here they are. Here are the guards. Heavy cardboard, duty. Heavy duty cardboard. This makes it the why this box is 25 pounds. That's what right here. That's, oh, wait. That's the weight right here. As you can see the sound of it. We have 
Um, um, Anubis, Anubis Ra, um, Ra, Osiris, Osiris Isis, Isis Thoth, Thoth, which is now the expansion set. I, yep. Horus. Uh, Horus. Hathor. Hathor. Bastet. And then Set. Set. And who's Patop? Oh, that's not. That was not in the other The creator. Oh. We don't have. Do we have it? No. That's mm -hmm. not in. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Later, later, later. There's later. More. This is Patat. We'll show you the other ones later. And so back. And goes back to the ammo. And now I put everything back on the box. So in other words, I just spoiled it. We have more stuff coming in. Oh, well, we didn't. Oh, uh, sorry. We have more stuff opening. More loot. 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 This is a Schluter. No, it's not Schluter. It's not Schluter, dude. This is it's not, not Wonderlands. Schluter. It's not Borderlands. It's not Wonderlands. But, hey, Simon, get access to Borderlands. I bet you guys can make a great board game. <laughs> <sighs> they have enough things on their plate, I think. Pharaoh, this one is an expansion as a new layer of the Divine Conflict. Ah, that's where this is. This is basically the palace board. So the palace board in here, I'm gonna show you guys. This is the cardboard version, just like with the other characters. So in the here. nice version. This is the nice version. This one is the cardboard, and then there's the one that's in here that's just a small, um, like a uh, uh, plastic board. It's oh, not, no, not plastic. Uh, it's probably paper. Not paper, but um, hard card, um, hard paper. It's like hard. It's like it's like cardstock. Cardstock, card there it is. So this uh, adds another way of playing the game for the Defined Conflict, which has thirty-one plastic figures, one pharaoh, thirty priestess. This is where all the sphinx comes from. Uh, five sphinx token, which what you guys have saw. Four pharaoh tokens, one pharaoh death token. Five feral cards, five player aid cards, forty political cards, and one freaking rule book. Not leaflet, rule book. <laughs> Not leaflet, rule book. <laughs> That's just scary. Look at the face. I know. Look at that art. You can take a for that. So yeah, yeah. We're not using this. <laughs> Those are the sphinx token. Oh no. We're using the other one. We're using the we're using the plastic dudes. Here's the rules. It's a scary face. Scary face. Like I said, here is the card stock. Flimsy version. Flimsy version. Versus. Nice version. Don't, be don't, don't, don't bend it. Or. Can you stop? Yeah, we. we See we, how, we, how, how thick that is? It's See pretty much punch board. Is? It's pretty much yeah. thick punch board. Um, Don't open that. We just look at the cards. Dudes. More cards. cards. Oh dear lord, that's actually really cool. I like this. I want to open it, but I'm not. The Pharaoh is gold. Holy sh! Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And then there's all of his guys. They're I guess all we ain't paying that. They're all color coded to each god. So that actually looks cool. I like that. Thank we're, you, Simon. That's we're, we're worth not, it. We're not painting that. Alright, we're gonna leave that gold. We'll He's leave not gold. We'll leave the gold. But this actually. It don't fit. I'll make it fit. There, now it fits. Okay. Ain't complaining. It gold. So that's the Pharaoh expansion. And um off the top of my head I know I do not know which one of these are starters exclusive. Wait, there's a small box down here. Oh, what that? Pantheon Extra. Ah. Oh. It's... The cat. Meow. So, it's just I almost threw that away again. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Always check. Check Don't worry, the box. I, check the box. Don't worry, I almost threw, threw away a box of stuff in the, one of the shipment at the pharmacy doing that too. Okay, anything else down here? Nope, nope. Nope. And last but not least, Ankh! Tomb of Wonders. All the extras! Yes, these are literally every extra there is that is Kickstarter exclusive. So, one of which is Patat and Sobek. 
Which what? is the two gods. Which means, oh, the alligator god. Ooh, mm -hmm. so bad. Ooh. And we already saw his the, cards. His card. His cardboard His card. cardboard card. A hard cardboard card. Well, punch board. No, not punch board. We're not using punch board ever. Everything is plastic. Everything is either plastic or hard cardboard. So, the Tomb of Wonders. I love Simon for putting all their extra exclusive stuff in a, in a nice box. box. So you don't have to accidentally lose one, maybe. Like, let's say, like a, they put it in a plastic bag instead of a box, a box like this. Um, a little leaflet of what's in there and how they how are they used. Like, a uh, patat is in here, and so is. Sobek. Sobek, so. Right there, sorry. So inside you see the rules for Sobek and Sobek and Bata. Um, some other stuff right here, probably credits. No nope. guardians. Guardian of Mankind, sorry. Like other names of the guardians, other guardians. There's um I think that's a Sobek rule. Yeah. So again, oh dear lord, what the fuzz. I don't even know what's in here. I really don't. So, um, sorry. Um, oh, hello. What's that? Cardboard Devotion Tracker. Oh, so the flimsy one in the base game. In here, uh, with the um, powers of Patat and um, Sobek. Sobek, is the cardboard action. Ah. Ow, that actually kind of hurt. Stop doing that. <laughs> um, more guardians. So I'm not gonna open this. These are a bunch more cards in here. Yay. Um, what did it say on me? I'm not gonna lose it. Screw it. Uh, Sobek cards. Ah, uh, for the alligator. For the alligator, I guess. Um, yeah. So, actually, I'm going to read it off. Box constant, 54 plastic figures, 2 gods, 12 warriors, 6 priests, 34 guardians. That's a lot of blood guardians. That's a lot of dudes. 130 plastic tokens, 10 temples, 10 obelisks, 10 pyramids, 2 cities, 1 merged god plinth, I guess. I can't read that very well. Um, whatever. 4... Action tracker, hmm, nice. Uh, one tiebreaker, eight conflict orders, 70 followers, two Ankh, three water, two exile followers, three underworlds, one Amun, and three suns. That's just the plastic tokens. Plastic, uh, everything else, eight plastic bases, 30 Ankh tokens. Uh, two god dashboards, two merged god dashboards, uh, one cardboard central dashboard, one cardboard devotion dashboard, 14 battle cards, 14 guardian cards, one rule booklet. Not leaflet, booklet. So there's leaflet, booklet, rule book. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm We're actually not gonna see what this looks like because I know all of this is part of the base game. I haven't, you have an obelisk at home. <laughs> obelisk Tormentor? No, we're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. See, if Yu-Gi-Oh was like this, it would be awesome. It's not. Did I not cut that, really? I'm all the way around. Oh, it didn't cut. Uh, not at all. Shoot. This one neither. Here are the obelisks. Are these the obelisks? 
These are obelisks, right? Mm, obelisks should be... No, those the obelisks are the ones above. No, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, those These are, are the obelisks. obelisks. Yeah. Yeah. Obelisks. Um, oops. Uh, pantheons? Those are not pantheons, dude. What are these? I don't Temples? Know. I think those are temples. Temples. Um, pyramids. Sobek and, um, Sobek and Patat's tokens. More tokens? More tokens. These are like the seven, what is this? Uh, seven merge tokens or something like that? I don't know. Death tokens for, you know, the jackal himself. Death tokens. Um, these are some nice city tokens. Nice. So instead of a little chit that we put down, we'll put this down. Um, ah! This actually looks... This would be nice if um, uh, Satan can make a Catan. game. Catan. Is this how they made theirs? I don't know. It's a hex. Maybe it's a little big. Yeah, these, I think these are river tokens. Yeah, water. These are three water. And yeah, three waters. And I think these are the underworlds. Come visit Anubis. Three underworld. Uh, three underworld, three water. Yeah, this is water. So, that's it for that. Let's put these back in here. <laughs> so I'm not going to go through all of this because that's way, way too, too many much. dudes. Ooh. Beetle! It's a scarab! Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this detail. Hey, Eileen. You need a cross <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh. What in blue blazes is this? Bok bok? <laughs> bok bok. I don't want to get demonetized. But I don't know. Are those dead bodies? Oh, those are, those are prisoners, I think, on top of this thing. This is a hippo holding a, a staff that's wearing an alligator skin. I like is this, this one. Is this a hippo? Is this a hippo? I think so. Is that a hippo? It is a hippo. I want bok bok. I want the chicken. I like this one. What is this? I do not know what that is. What is this? I love this that figure. That is Pesorchukus? We're not gonna try to pronounce his name. It's my little beetle, the scarab. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it's a guardian. Yeah, I know. That's an honestly guardian. Shoot. Shoot. So. Um, yeah. He's given to the player with the lowest devotion. Okay, so if you don't want to, if you want him, you don't need to have, don't get the devotion. Got it. What about the, I want to see what the beetle is. The beetles, the beetle. The beetles are, that's the hippo, where the hell is the beetle? What's the beetle called? Um, Kep, uh, H, uh, K-H-E-P-R-I. I cannot, I don't know. Kepri? God damn you, Eric Lang, you read way too much books. Can I have the beetle and the, the robotic the alligator? Robotic alligator. I like this guy. It's a popsicle. <laughs> hey, it's my new corno. It's, no, it's too small. It's too small to be a corno. Oh, and also. It's numbered on the bottom. You can't put him in the wrong spot. Yep. Where's Sobek? Is it the green dude? Hold on. <laughs> you gotta put, put, put what's his face back correctly. Sobek is. Should be green one. The alligator, yes. Alligator. That and looks amazing. Pata, uh, pata. I don't know. 
the top. I don't know who that is. It is this one. Looks like a cow. Do we have a cow? It's Hathor. Oh, uh, no, no. It's more like a goat? Satyr? Maybe? Oh, here we go. <laughs> How to put all your shiz in it away. Okay, have your, I think it is, I think it is a goat? What is this? I, it's a yo-yo. It is not a yo-yo, oh my god. Here, I'll have the alligator back. Sorry, we're making fun of the game, we're just, we're opening everything. Yeah. This but, is, this is a game. that is not it. We still have one more to go. Let me try and put this away correctly. I should. It don't fit? It doesn't, it looks like it fits, but it doesn't. Careful! Oh, because I did that wrong. <laughs> there, yeah, now it fits. Okay, but don't, but don't forget these, don't forget these things. Those doesn't go in here. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> and then she goes to the mat. We still have one more thing, which is the mat, which is what? How, it's a little bit bigger. Apparently it's supposed to be bigger than the actual board game. The one for uh, Rising Sun was literally almost like 40% bigger. It is enormous. It was enough to hold. When you play a game of Rising Sun, you use a normal board and nobody dies. That whole board gets filled up really quickly. Use the mat, there's plenty of space for everyone. Yeah, this one has plenty of space. Card, card, that, cardboard and that, and stack cardboard. I call them stack on Oh! And, and booklet. Rule. Not leaflet. Leaflet is one page. Leaflet, booklet, rule book. Booklet has at least two, two pages. pages. Rule book, rule book is yeah, whole rules. Spring. So, oh dear lord. Anyways. All the um, extras. Okay. Kickstarter is exclusive. So you'll never get these two um, gods at all. Or any of these guardians. So and if you, you do buy back it, you're kind of out of luck. Yeah. Last but not least. Not you. You. They say that this, that this is a... Uh, that this is a double-sided map. Let's see. It's been sitting at my house for a month. Yes, the board game actually took longer than this. Than this one. Sorry guys, I know it's almost been an hour, but this is just a, a lot, lot of content. You think this is a lot? Wait for X Men or Massive Darkness. Massive Darkness? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, more, more oh. too. Oh, you missed some spots. Yeah, it's right here. Cut away from yourself? Yes, I am cutting away from myself. Good. This is cutting away towards me. <laughs> As you can see, these are very annoying. There we go. Hopefully I didn't cut the, the mat. That would suck. There we go. Don't forget to close your eyes. No, oh, one more. Now we close the knife. Ugh. It is double sided. So actually. It looks to be it's the same size as the board. The only added addition is that they added the devotion track here. And the, the action, action track at the here, bottom. And uh, um, uh, the expansion of the Feral cards here. So, with, if that's the case... What's on the other side? Same thing, minus the, uh, the Feral side. Mm. That's why this is double sided. So you can play two different versions. Mm -hmm. If you added a Pharaoh side, then he, because here are your guardian cards. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder. Huh. You don't add the guardians in the Pharaoh set. Mm. So you can see. You can flip it. 
there's no guardian side on this side. Mm -hmm. So I put it back again. Devotion, action, guardians. So, and with that, that concludes this. I know it's been almost an hour, but as you can see, there was a lot of stuff in this Kickstarter. And this is probably one of their most anticipated titles. anticipated titles and smaller titles. Um, Rising Sun was bigger than this, and okay. it didn't took me that long to um, to critique it. Well, considering that we already knew what was in this in the box, because we but played this it. has a lot. And there is my beautiful art book. Well, okay, folks, time to go. So again. Subscribe, like, and keep playing. See you guys later.